All right. All right. All right. You ready? So, when I was a kid, I think my obsession with animals began before I was even five years old. I always wanted to have my own zoo. But one of the first animals I had were some fleas. I saw this thing on TV and I wanted to have a flea circus. It didn't really work. Fleas don't make good pets. They never did do any of those tricks that I saw on the box. The next pet I had as part of my zoo were some sea monkeys. But they didn't look anything like the ones on the back of the comic book. And then I had a chia pet. That didn't work out either. It died if you don't put any water in it. As I got a little bit older, I started focusing my attention on mammals, four-legged animals, which there were a lot of them running around stray in my neighborhood. I started collecting stray dogs and cats, and then rabbits I used to get downtown at the farmer's market, pigeons that I found and taken from old abandoned buildings and construction sites, and dilapidated homes under railroad trussles and bridges, turtles, fish. I got my turtles from down in the river. Turtles ain't social, you know, as pets. You can't walk them down the street, you know, but I just like to have them. At one point, I probably had about 15 dogs, 40 cats. They kept reproducing. Probably 30 pigeons, 10 rabbits, maybe 20 turtles. I loved them. I loved them a lot. And I would do anything to get them, to find them, to help them, to protect them. I didn't think much about how I was dressed, how dirty I was. And in fact, I didn't care much about the way I smelled or looked at all. Uh, and I was uh, prone to not bathing frequently because I just did what I did. But I thought I was fascinating. You know, it really is difficult to herd cats but you can get them to follow you. And because all my animals always associated me with food, they'd always get excited when they saw me. And when I used to walk down the street and I'd have about 40 cats following me, you know how many cats 40 cats is? And how uh, special I was to walk down the street with 40 cats? You know what that looked like for me when I'd walk down the street and neighbors would go, what the what? And people would come outside and they would go, look at that. And they would point and stare. I thought they were thinking, look at this kid. He's special. He's a drum major for animals. He's a black Dr. Doolittle. But in reality, they weren't thinking this kid is special. It was like, this kid is crazy. They thought I was crazy. They were thinking all of my animals were a health hazard. They can't be sanitary. People thought I had some kind of mental problem. I smelled dirty. They wondered what kind of parents I had. Who would allow a boy to keep this nasty pile of animals behind the house? Nobody thought it was cute at all. I just thought so in my mind until I realized that they just thought I was a fool. And that really didn't bother me much until one day I came home and there was a man from the health department with a piece of paper and the dog catcher with some helpers, and the neighbors were standing around outside, and they went to the back of our house, and they grabbed all my friends, and they snatched them up, and they threw them in those cages roughly. And I tried to tell the man, no, you can't throw a furry cat like that. He don't like to be in the corner by himself. Y'all have to stop, don't do that. They didn't care. And the neighbors stood around. Some of them giggled. Some of them smiled. And it was the worst day of my life. Since then, even though I've gotten older and not much about me has changed, except maybe the frequency that I wash, my age, and the number of animals I have. 
few dozen chickens, ducks, turkeys, a bunch of dogs. The world tried to change me, but they didn't succeed.